responsibility has been to hire, train, and motivate a sales force to assist our customers in the need to export their goods internationally and import. Uh, so that there are a lot of different issues that surface when you're dealing with the international marketplace. 220 some odd countries, uh, their customs uh, and, and the foreign trade policies that those countries have. So understanding all the nuances that go on um, with international trade is what my team supports our customers. The skill sets needed for international sales encompasses a few different areas. One, they have to definitely be a people person. They have to be very well organized. Um, th they need to be problem solvers, and they need to be hunters. I mean, y all the other areas might be dealing with existing customers, but our job is to find new business and put it on our vehicles and airplanes. So you have to be willing to go out by yourself and look for new business opportunities, sit down and talk with those people, be a consultant to find out what their, their needs are, and then bring them on board with a, through a pricing program that's uh, uh, beneficial to that customer, and then start solving the problems as you go through the uh, evolution of the, of the business cycle. T to get into sales within FedEx, granted you have college students, we do, we do require a college degree. And then you, if you have any type of outside sales experience, whether that's selling newspapers, whether that's going out and selling something, those are all learning skill sets that help you get your job. Uh, we do have an inside sales group, which is generally uh, a beginning stage for a lot of people to get in and learn our, our own operating systems, our, uh, our whole network, and then they step into the field sales where then they're actually, rather than on the phone and behind a desk, they're behind a wheel driving to companies and understanding the dynamics of traffic and issues and parking and all that, and actually be face-to-face -face with the customers. Generally speaking, at that point in time, their skill sets are being developed, and then we're able to bring them over into the international arena when there's opportunities. Um, to get into, into FedEx International Sales, we do hire some people from the outside who already have industry experience, okay? But if you're in college or you're just getting started, uh, you really won't be qualified to get into the international sales at this point in time. So your best thing to do is still go to our FedEx.com homepage. You can apply for positions to get into the organization. And as you get into the organizations, you can continue to grow through all of our different um, internal training programs and knowledge skill sets to grow that international knowledge. So it's not a, if you're just starting out, you can't, it's not, I can get there tomorrow. You're going to have to take a process, work through yourself, develop yourself, and then you'll be qualified to get into international sales at FedEx. So there's, there's a book called the Dictionary of International Terms. Uh, I believe it's printed by World Press up in uh, Petaluma, California. It's a thick book, and it, it's one of those resources that you can go to. It does have all the transportation uh, lingo in, like, I believe it's eight different languages in the very back of the book. They talk about the INCO terms, which is the international terms to be able to have contracts. They have all the ocean ports. Um, identified all the airports around the world, identified containers, planes. So it's a huge resource book. Um, it's not one that you can just sit down and read. You generally have to uh, have a topic to go to it, but it's that, that resource book that never goes away. Um, I might not pick it up for a year, and then something happens. I want to just get an idea or refresh on, you know, a refresher on a specific topic, but it's a good book to get.